Go. Yeah, Whoa. you're Yo, hey. <laughs> oh, there it was. All right, guys, what's up? I'm meeting Dan out here at Paris, of all places. I've never been to Paris Skate Park before. I've only seen clips online and on Instagram, but meeting Dan out here, we're gonna skate Paris, skate park for a bit, and then I think there's like a bump to ledge spot nearby here. It looks like Ohio or something, I don't know. Is Ohio Midwest, Montana? Uh, what other Midwest states are there that I'm forgetting? Cool thing about this park is if you look at this park on Google Earth or Google Maps from the sky, it's a big P for Paris. City of Paris. A night in Welcome to Paris. <laughs> a night in Paris. <laughs> I don't know if you guys know, but if you want to skate a really tough Euro, come to Paris. This is a very hard Euro. It's weird, huh? No, super easy. It's the uh, easiest thing I've ever skated. I don't know. There's a W here too. I, I don't know if it's like a double euro, but it's like a step and then a, a euro. You can see. This kind of is a double euro here, but I wouldn't call this it. I would call this and then that. Oh, I get you. It's like one, two, and then you're up. I was just saying to Dan earlier about ledges at skate parks, like when there's like a gap underneath, like this. In my head, I feel like I'm gonna fall in there. Like anytime I skate a ledge like this and there's a gap underneath, it like plays in my head like a ton. Because I feel like I'm gonna, I'm gonna fall into that little gap there. Oh, that was great, keep going. We loved it. Woo. Squatty boy. I took all my might to get out of that. It's a lot of impact. Yeah. yeah. That was slow as hell, but it is what it is. Oh, uh, switch heel. We're leaving Paris now. We're gonna go look at this street spot, I believe. I didn't get many clips at this park here because I don't know. Those ledges were vibing me out. I didn't want to fall down the hole there. Then I got really busy and then there was a little kid on an electric BMX bike thing that was really loud and annoying. It sounded like an RC car, so. We're getting out of here right now. This is why I don't skate local because, I don't know, whoa, be careful. This is why I don't skate local because it's like, I don't know, different vibes, different vibes. So we just arrived at this spot right now. Um, First time seeing this spot in person, but there's a, there's like, there's a truck and a couch, like literally right in the way here. I'll show you guys. I think the truck might be leaving though. This is a spot we're looking at here. Um, yeah. There's a very steep bump onto this ledge here. You go over the dirt land here, but there's a truck and the couch, recliner too, in the way. Yeah, there's a big truck. Keep on trucking up. Dan's doing the old East Coast uh, sweep special. I was just gonna use my foot to, but he has a much more uh, better alternative. This man would take the shirt off his own back to groom a spot for you. That's Over commitment. <laughs> so I'm trying, we're trying to skate this spot, but for some reason this truck is wiping us out. Cause you gotta like carve in. I don't wanna go knock on his cab and see when he's going. Cause he could have a lot lizard in there. You never know. You have a what? A lot lizard. What's a lot lizard? <laughs> oh yeah, you got that. Wind, for some reason the tree gets in your head. Yeah. Oh shit, you're like right there. 
I'm not on it though. It doesn't matter it. if you land it, you land it. Fuck being on it right away. <laughs> Yeah, you you got on that one better, just stuck. Like I could tell you were leaning into it. Oh, I got a boner. Even though it's not really in our space, it just makes it that much easier to think about now. Oh yeah. Now watch this time you go, a car pulls up on the curb and hits you and you die. <laughs> oh. Yeah, you're your way. <laughs> Is that mark on your pants where you just hit your knee? Yeah. Oh, you did smack oh, your name. Oh, oh man, man, it gave you a tattoo. Oh, bruise. <laughs> oh yeah, off the end. That's how I got hurt. I bet Papa. You got it right here. This is the one. I fumbled getting on, that's why. <laughs> oh, there it was. Give me a minute. <laughs> you hit your face? Nah, I just hit you my back. Damn, that was the one. That was perfect speed and everything. Yeah. I'm trying to aim to get on further down. Yeah, that was it. So once you get out, you're already, you know? Yeah, that was perfect. Do it exactly like that. You got a gap. You got a gap. It's going to be a gap, then front tail. Next try. Ah! Oh! <laughs> My foot slipped off. I saw that. You got it right here. Count. Hell yeah, that counts. That was so good. So I copped that front tail on this little bump to let out ledge thing <sighs> i'm puffed all the run-ins running i feel like running is like half a skateboarding you have to like run and then throw down and like the more and more that you repeat the process of trying for a trick the less and less steps it takes if it makes sense like i probably did that more than 10 goes easily 15 goes 20 goes maybe but it's like the more you throw down and run the steps become smaller and smaller to eventually you get the last step and you just have to pop out or whatever, just land it. First of all, Ryukin? His name is Ryu. And it's Guile. Guile, is the, the American. <laughs> oh. know better. So, Dan and I are out at this skate park that's just off March Airfield, Airfield Base. Can't even speak English. You know what this skate park really reminds me of? If you've ever played Grand Theft Auto V, you go to the skate parks in the game and they're primitive like this. Right. Like all the angles are all like messed up and it's just like ridiculous things like having a king trailer for three stair. That's so sackable. <laughs> yeah, dude. So, like, this is sick. Imagine board sliding it. Yeah. <laughs> it's, uh, I mean, at least we're, we're the only two people here today. Probably we're the only people who've ever been here. <laughs> like, it's, God, it's so This crazy. is like one of those primitive parks. Is this, good? this is my favorite thing here. That's the most skatable obstacle here. This, yeah, it is, honestly. That's Bump fine. to ledge. And then just some the uh, architecture here. Like, why is this here? Why is there a gap here? And what Dan was saying, the only good ledge that's here, there's a rail on it, so you can't skate it. Look. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you can go with the end here. Yeah, the perils of round coping. Let's have a look at this hip because it, it, this hip defies physics and it defies common sense. It skate stopped with the skate park rail. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you could still hit it, but it's very narrow. 
I mean, I don't know. Is there one round? Flat no, there's no round bars. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> the way to skate it, I guess, would be out of the hip over the rail. That's actually oh, kind of cool. Gosh. I would say that that's the main way that you should be skating this thing. Shut it down. Oh, you had that. <laughs> oh, did you make stink? Sean made an upside down Australian stink. <laughs> I'm not going that way. That's we just floored it. That's stupid. I love you. I love that you're dropping it halfway down the bank. This is great. This is content. Come back in your front board. What do you mean? Or not. I'm going home now. We skated all day. I got that front tail, mucked around at this little park here at March Airfield Base, and yes, I'm about 10 minutes. But like, I got like 10 minutes to drive because we didn't skate it late today. We skated Riverside. <laughs> we skated Riverside County. I'm tired, and the endorphins are beginning to kick in, and I, I don't have a seatbelt on, and I'm driving, and I'm vlogging. <laughs> On your way back, bring me his son. On, on.